Mondays with the Mako coming to you from the Shark Tank here at work. We're rocking a great finish. We had a nice Monday. A really, really sweet weekend we did. We bought a pool. We're getting the house right. So the pool uh, was a really big thing for us. We're humbled, excited, thrilled to have that pool. Um, come swim with your boy, the shark. Everybody's welcome. Give me a couple months though. So big three coming today. I want to talk a little bit about Q&A. And then I want to encourage you to get into my content on some fantasy football stuff for those fantasy football freaks. And this is American football, you guys. My British and my my global European friends. Um, I know that you guys have started football and the Premier League's going and Syria and Italy and everything. So uh, American football, my friends. And sorry for later content. It's going to be like this, uh, UK friends and, and everybody in Europe. So dig in on Tuesdays or stay up late for, for your shark content on Mondays. Much love, guys. Big three coming. want to talk Q&A quickly. Um, Jer, how do you have time to post in all these mediums? It's one of the questions I've gotten recently. I have time to post because I'm an adult, you guys. I make the time. I put it in my calendar each day, 15 to 20 minutes, when I need to get my content creation going and get my posts happening. Some of my posts and some of my content I share from other medium, uh, other mediums to other mediums, right? Some of my Instagram stories or Snapchat stories can be seen in Instagram, right? You want to mix it up a little bit and keep it fresh, but you don't need to replicate a ton of content. And that was that three to four to five or even six posts per week, right? All right, that's how I do it. I put the time aside. I'm an adult. I use technology to my advantage, and I can use content in other spaces and other spots. Uh, number two, a question that I got, what's valuable content right now on Snapchat? Well, if you haven't been on Snapchat and you don't know what Snapchat is, you don't know what you like watching and receiving. So I would say get on there, start watching a few people, me, um, some of your other North Star type figures, mentors, uh, friends, see what they're posting and driving on. Uh, Snapchat's going to offer a flavor of personal mixed in with business and what you're doing on a daily basis. Now, if you saw my Snapchat feed today, you saw that I was getting going with Jimmy this morning and we we're doing a sales webinar with a bunch of prospects, over 70, right? And I did some snaps on that. You can see that energy and what we were talking about and what we were covering and how we were discussing our amazing product and what it could do. So one, you're seeing what I'm doing on my hustle. Two, you're seeing you know, a bit about my product and that's what you wanna bring on Snapchat. I bring a bit of personal flavor. I bring my fitness on there, my workouts, uh, my animals sometime at home. Uh, Erica's not so social, uh, but when she is, I can grab her and throw her on. So guys, what do you wanna see? That's where you wanna start with that question. And then number three, how do you separate your personal content and professional, your brand content? I've been lucky to actually make my Per, uh, personal and professional brand um, kind of one. But with that said, I've got two Facebook accounts, the Shark account and my personal account. I've got one Twitter account, I've got one Instagram account, but that's got that combination feel again uh, with Jeremiah Shark, right? So create two accounts if needed. And if you've got a personal slash professional brand, right, understand what that looks like and play to your strengths there. All right, but you do want to keep them separated. You do want to keep them mixed. I want to look at your professional content and see your professional stuff, not your family, your cats, your vacation in Hawaii or California or whatever you're working on. So understand what that looks like, guys. Um, big three for this week, scripture work, my meditation work, that faith-based piece of my cadence is off just a little bit. It feels rushed, doesn't feel um, intense in the way that I need it to be. It doesn't feel like I'm retaining or grabbing that content and I want that and I've got to have that. So I'll be working on that feverishly over uh, the next next couple days and weeks. Uh, number two, Facebook Live. I didn't like my content on Friday. I got stuck getting it set up. I got distracted with a shout out uh, from my boy Wilson from the Rafters. And Wilson's a great friend and champion. He was asking me about a project we were working on together. Um, and I was regurgitating some things and I was fumbling on some words. Friday's gonna be a damn challenge because it's live and I'm damn tired on Fridays. I'm spent because I bring it 110% every single day. So I'm gonna be challenged on Fridays, but I want that challenge. I want to be better there and look for me to talk less about my big three on Fridays. I want to learn more about yours and what you're working on and then uh, we'll roll right into Mondays with the Mako on Monday. And then three this week, results. Big week last week. I'm already off and running today. Um, so I want to mimic and match what I did last week, if not exceeded. I've exceeded 
every single week this month. So we're looking to do that, certainly match the effort, results, and energy. That's gonna be the ticket. Um, and a lot of that came from follow-up, extended follow-up, guys. Are you getting your outreach out there? Are you using your systems and your follow-up uh, effectively? Much love, guys. That's my big three. Check out my Facebook um, content each Monday on fantasy if you're a fantasy football player and reach out to me separately on that. Draft one was under um, was under three hours and it was a live draft and we did that this weekend. Uh, running backs went early, the big four running backs and quarterbacks were late and people weren't looking to handcuff running backs. I can tell you more about that if you need it. Much love, guys. Let's have a great week. I was flying here at the end. I've got to get out of here for my workout, my fitness cadence, and then I'm going to get home to my spiritual and my meditation piece, and I'm going to stick that this week. What are you guys sticking? What's your big three? Much love, guys. Let's go get it.